Okay, notes from the news feed. Look, my tablet has a news feed too, I guess. It, I, didn't, I didn't add anything to it. But I had seen yesterday on a video that um, there's a rumor out there that Kenya Moore got married. Did you hear about that? Um, and what was the other thing I just saw on this little news feed that I thought was interesting? I can't even think of it. Dang. And I thought it was interesting. Um... The Phaedra might be back for another season of Real Housewives. That wasn't what I thought was interesting. Um, dang, there was something else. Okay, I'm going to just go. Today, I am back on my regular things that I have filtered through and selected to send off to my Be Fabulous You Twitter feed or to my Facebook page or both or to my blog, Be Fabulous, Be Fabulous You on um WordPress. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. Let's see what we got going on. Early African American engraver and lithographer. I don't even know what a lithographer is, but this is a piece about Patrick H. Reason. That's probably why I wanted to um, read it, because I wanted to know what a lithographer is. Um, Roxanne Gray Mamma Mia website humiliates feminist author and I did click on that earlier the woman who writes about being heavy they made some big deal about her needing a chair that was strong enough to hold her or whatever people have so many issues about how people are supposed to be in other people's bodies and I don't know a neuroscientist explains how being bilingual makes your brain more robust I'm not bilingual but I have a friend who speaks French, so I sent her the article. And then I have another um, friend who wanted her son to learn Spanish when he was born. That was one of her goals. So I don't know. He's probably three or four years old now. And I don't know if she's kept that up, but I sent her that article too to encourage her. Marvel's black, this is coming off of Atlanta Black Star. Marvel's black woman centric World of Wakanda series canceled after six issues oh I want to read it though um, Trump is expected to roll back some of Obama's Cuban outreach that's coming off of feed proxy I don't know what oh business insider um, can I be me trailer reveals Whitney Houston's dark struggles with fame that's coming off the grill so it's gonna be a little movie about um, Whitney Houston I probably wouldn't want to see a movie about Whitney Houston but that name can I can I be me that make me want to see it. Is that wrong? Nearly 200 Democrats to sue Trump over foreign business dealings. That's coming off of the Brio as well. Ontario implements new rules for police, for police street checks to help combat systemic racism. I remember, um, you know, my first husband um, was Canadian, so I would spend some time in um, Canada and Toronto. And there was this, I'm going to turn the air on, y'all. There was this whole, um, you know, kind of conversation about is Canada racist? Is it not racist? The different ways in which Canada is racist. Because, you know, we had this idea, oh, we escaped black people to Canada for freedom and to get away from racism. It's a different type of racism. It's kind of like down south, up north. And that's a little bit more up south than up down south than up, you know, you got down south, you got up south, and then you got up, up south. That's how Canada is. It's still, they still got the, the same kind of issues. They just express them in different ways. So that was coming off of Atlanta Black Star. I like when they report international things. Um, Stacey Abrams seeks to break glass ceiling as America's first black woman governor. That was on the Grio. So did she win? Who is she? There's never been a black woman governor before? I had no idea. Journalist dad proves representation doesn't just matter in the newsroom. That's coming off of the Grio. Pope to Nigerian priest. You'll be fired if you don't obey. Always trying to get us to obey. <laughs> you can't break us. You can't break us. You might break one or two here or there, but you can't break you can't break our spirit. 
<laughs> the Fisher Detroit, the Fisher Theater to screen Detroit documentary June 21st. I clicked on that and it looked like something I might want to put in my um, calendar as a possibility <laughs> if I have a moment of freedom. Um, oh, look at this. This is coming off of Atlanta Black Star. Despite getting educated, voting more, and opening businesses, black women still lag behind other Americans. I always be talking about that. African American Museum evacuated after suspicious package is found inside. Braided up for hashtag braided up for the summer. 18 magnificent braided styles to rock for this summer. That's coming off of Lisa Alamo. Um, teacher suspended after removing Trump from yearbook. And I actually clicked on that article. So one of the little children who looked to be white, he had on a t-shirt that said Trump. And it, I guess they had the before and after. It was a black t-shirt and it said Trump. And in the after, I guess the one they put in the yearbook, it was just a black t-shirt. Um, okay. That was coming off of the BBC um, um, World News UK. UK. Um, June 13th, 1980, Dr. Walter Rodney has been assassinated. The Guyana government planned the assassination. Now, I've heard of Walter Rodney. I don't think I've ever read any of his work, but I think of him as like a pro pro progressive Caribbean writer. For some reason, I thought he was Jamaican, but he might have been Guyanese. But I was kind of surprised. I'm like, the Guyana government planned his assassination? So that kind of makes me want to, there's it's so many people out here, it's so much information, it's so much to study. Um, inmates on the run after two guards were overpowered, killed in rural Georgia escape. I think I already talked about that one. Home ownership among Seattle's black residents sees dramatic decline since early 70s. That's coming off of Atlanta Black Star. Okay, so I think I'm back on the, um, I think I'm back where I started. The case of 17-year-old Jordan Hatcher, 1852. I might have, I don't remember, I might have clicked on that. Okay. Now this one, I clicked on the article, but the article didn't seem to fit the headline. The um, headline says, this is coming off of Atlanta Black Star, jury in Philando Castile killing asked to see key videos again. Judge denies request for transcripts. So maybe, I thought he denied request for the videos. So maybe that's what I was looking for because I think they did see the videos again, but maybe he wouldn't see let them see the transcripts of, I don't know. And we don't know if the judges are he or not. They didn't say he. So let's not just be going around assuming stuff. Because you know what they say about assuming. Senate Democrats want to go after Trump administration's use of secret messaging services. Now, I thought that was interesting because the Russians seem to be very technologically advanced. And I think the article was saying they have certain, there. there's a rumor or some idea or some possibility out here that they have some apps some type of something going on where they send an email or send a text message and it self-destructs after 30 minutes or after it's read or something and I was thinking that these Russians seem to be technologically advanced particularly when it comes to this new technology so um, you know I don't know if that's something that I don't know if that's a true story it's a um, yeah it's coming off of um, Business Insider but um you know, that seems like it would be illegal. And I think that the article even said that um, part of our your responsibility when you're in public office is to keep certain records public. You ain't supposed to be having no secret communications that you destroy. So um, anyway, it just made me think of the Russians and how advanced they are and how they could probably write an app to do anything um, or more or less anything. Because you know on, um, was it... Um, um, dear white people, one of the children had written it. Wasn't it one of the kids had written an app to vote for the voting? And then after the voting was over, the app kept doing something. So it was like 8 million people voted, but it's only 80 kids at the school that could have voted. Um, the FCC, listen to this. This is coming off of Engadget. 
the FCC can't, as in cannot, limit excessive inmate phone call rates. So, I just feel like, I think it's amazing how the government is, it seems to be complicit in exploiting poor people and exploiting people in desperate situations. And that is some bull to me. And it's sort of like these payday loans and these loan sharks. I feel like the government should be in place. This is my take on it. The government should be in place to protect the people from predatory lenders, to protect the people from predatory business practices, to protect the people from predatory um, from predators instead of supporting the predators and, and um, predating on the people on you know attacking the people on eating off the people on living off the people on taking advantage of the people so these people are in jail you trying to call your people in jail it's already usually if you locked up it's skewed toward people who have less resources because they want a weren't able to avoid being locked up and then um you know they usually target poor people and browner people anyway for crimes even though people uh, commit crimes across the board but just like the war on drugs they don't go into the suburbs looking for people doing drugs they go into poorer brown or blacker communities looking for people doing drugs so you know um so you just you have all these poor people who are in these desperate situations and then you take more advantage of them by charging them eight million dollars a minute to make a phone call that's some bull i don't appreciate it i don't like it worth nothing the fcc is supposed to be here the government is supposed to be here for the people not for the corporations milwaukee officers reportedly shoot two people on lakefront i clicked on that and it was basically hitting social media before the um, police department could confirm it or deny it or put a statement out but you know social media moves fast and when you're trying to investigate stuff and put stuff out truth and I don't I'm not saying that the Milwaukee Police Department was trying to or not but I'm just saying even if you have the best intentions if somebody that already took a video and put the stuff out you can't confirm or you know it's kind of like you up against a clock Emmy's voting in pro progress as shows make final pitches in biggest campaign season yet the Emmys are for TV right Black high schoolers suspended over yearbook photo that featured racial artwork and background. I clicked on that article. I could barely find, find the little brown girl in the picture amongst all of her white friends. Or, you know, everybody looked more or less the same tone. Maybe it was some other black children in there. And then the artwork was in the background. And then it's like her father, I guess, is an artist. And I couldn't really tell what the racially offensive part of it was. But I just thought that was interesting. Um, the Trump administration is delaying a big change to nutrition labels that would make calories and sugars easier to see. Of course, anything to uh, help the pharmaceutical um, agricultural companies. Actor Mark Ruffalo petitioning NBC to stop hiring white conservatives. And part of this article that I thought was interesting and I did look at it is like they talked about a habit of NBC which includes M MSNBC firing black folks. So we know Tamron Hall is gone. We know Melissa Harris Perry is gone. But there were like four or five other people that I did I was not familiar with who were also gone. So I don't even know who Mark Ruff Ruffalo it rhymes with Buffalo in the spelling, who that is. Study finds refugees actually pay the U.S. government thousands more than they get from it. A Trump, um, that's coming off of Business Insider. A Trump Kushner business partner is in the running for a $1.7 million contract to build FBI's new headquarters. I don't need to say anything about that, right? The Walking Dead's Deny Goraya starring in Avengers of Infinity War. That's the woman who plays Michonne. Deny. I think her name is Deny, but I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Guaira. Um, Otto Warmbier, North Korea, releases jailed U.S. student in a coma. And he went there. He was taking a sign down or doing something. It's kind of like you be out here traveling in the world, and then I guess you're an American, then I guess you're a white guy, and you just more or less feel you can do anything. He was like doing a prank or something, I think. And now his ass has been arrested in jail. You know, he out here in North Korea. 
and they they done put he's been it, I, I didn't even understand all of the coma stuff but he's been in a coma for a year I think when he was brought home he was in a coma it's like it's all fun and games until you know your ass end up in a coma black martial arts series Senegalese wrestling this is coming off of black com black com black martial arts series in Goonie stick fighting this is coming off of black com all right be you be fabulous be fabulous you these are just some notes from the note news feed if you want to see the full articles check out my twitter feed i'm be fabulous you on twitter i am also be fabulous you on wordpress and you might also be able to find me as be fabulous you on facebook but i'm angela riley on facebook i'm angela rasulala riley on facebook y'all have a good day um, I need to go. It's something I got rehearsal tonight, but it's something I, I got. Oh, I get to watch daytime.